so this was composed by Nina Rota for the 1968 film Romeo and Juliet. Right, the score and tab is available at Music Notes, so check it out. So very slowly, from the beginning, it begins in the fifth position, so you're gonna go. So this is an F chord. Goes to a C chord. Just take that third finger, move it to the third fret. And then starts the tremolo section. So I do have videos at my website, which I'll put the link below, where you can find a lot of tremolo exercises if this is something you're having a hard time with. So you're gonna begin with this F chord, and very slowly. Half bar at 10. Pinky. Open. I right, think you do a half bar at five with pinky here. So you've got this. So if you notice those two measures, I'm keeping that half bar down the entire time. So one more time. All right, then we have the tremolo section come back. So you start with a half bar at five. So what I'll do now is just move the pinky up to the 12th fret and I'll drop this. So this is bar at the eighth fret So one thing about this chord, it can be very difficult to get. So one thing I'll do is I'll bring my elbow out. So for me, it's easier to get that chord, this, with my elbow out compared to elbow close in. It's very hard for me to do that. So that's something I would recommend experimenting with if you're having a hard time getting that chord. So slowly you've got, Third finger drops. All right, measure 15, half bar with the pinky. And then you have this. First finger, second. So one thing I'll do there, is I won't put all of those fingers down at once, but I'll just use them when I need it. So I've got the pinky down, first finger, pinky goes down. So those two measures very slowly. So you've got this. I measure 17, I just take that pinky, move it up two frets, and drop the bar. Take off pinky. All right, then you form this F major chord. And then pinky. And then the rest of this arrangement is just a repeat of what we've done before. So if we begin the second half of measure 21, we've got this. Did 
that's that F we did in the beginning. F. Half bar 10. And then pinky on that seventh fret. Half bar plus that pinky. So we've done all that before. So then what you can do is you can make this arrangement longer by taking the repeat. Uh, the first ending, which is measure 32. So you're gonna go back to the beginning. And so on. You play all of that until you get to measure 31 again. And then instead of taking the first repeat, you jump to the second repeat and it ends right there. I hope you enjoyed the arrangement. Sorry about my voice. I've gone from a tenor to a bass. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions.